And shares of China railway construction made a weaker than expected debut in Shanghai today. Analysts said the listing may hurt new share offers in China. They also expected that IPOs and other mega fund raising plans in China are likely to be delayed or even cancelled due to poor investor sentiment. Joining us is Wang Ren, a research analyst from CCB International Securities. Wang Ren, good to have you with us. What happened to China Hi. Railway today? It was heavily subscribed but posted the market's worst debut since 1996. What happened? I think for the question number one, that the high um, subscription ratio um, was mainly due to two reasons. The first is the company has got a strong fundamental, it's a key beneficiary of China's real railway construction boom, and it also offers a discount valuation to its major domestic rival. And for the uh, for the day one performance, I I didn't see, uh, I, I don't think that it was that bad, uh, considering that the CSI index, uh, the benchmark index for Asia market performance, uh, fell over five percent for the day, and. 28% game for the uh, China railway construction and it still was largely in line with the market uh, expectation okay. given its discount valuation uh, about 20 to 25 percent to its major arrivals. Okay, China let, railway. let's talk a bit more about that Wang Wen. How does China railway construction compare to its large arrival China railway group? Okay, uh, to be honest, I think that uh, two companies um, uh, uh, um, actually they, they are very uh, similar. They have uh, similar size, they have uh, similar uh, business structure, and they have the um, similar uh, uh, con contract portfolio. So they, um, so I think the uh, that's why I think the, the uh, discount valuation that the gap uh, between China Railway construction and China Railway Group is likely to be narrow over the next few days. Wang, it's Bertha here in the U.S. You know, during our internet bubble, when you started getting. 28% returns on an IPO when people were disappointed. Yes. Boy, that was a real sign of the top. Is Where are we in the IPO market in um, China? And yeah, right. Is this really a bubble about the burst, do you think? Uh, it's a little bit a little bit difficult for me to predict the IPO I perform for, the, for China for the rest of the day. But I think the uh, investors are turning to be more, um, uh, more selective and their evaluation become more um, reasonable. Um, I just think that, yeah. Uh, hi, Wang Ren. It's Ross here in, in London. I mean, do you think Chinese investors are, are more discerning hi. about which IPOs they put their money into? Sorry? Do you think Chinese investors uh, uh, are, are, are now uh, more picky, more choosy about what they put their money in? Uh, that's for sure. I think uh, investors become more and more selective. Yeah. And Wang Ren, quickly, and what let me does ask you, mean? the company we know will list in Hong Kong on March the 13th, would you buy the company at this stage? Um, it will really depends on the evaluation of its uh, major competitors. If the evaluation of its competitor um, continue to go down, I think the uh, upside could be limited. All right, Wang well, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much for being with us. Wang Ren, research analyst from CCB International Securities, talking to us about the market debut of China Railway Construction, Ross. Right here in